All right, so we've got our tower all put together. We've raised it up and lowered it back down just to make sure that all of our guy wires are correctly sized. So now we're ready to start thinking about putting our turbine and mounting it to the top of this tower. So the first step is we need to pull our conductors up from the bottom to the top of the tower while we're on the ground so we can mount our, uh, our turbine to the top here. So we've got some fish wire. We're just gonna send that down to the bottom of the cable, attach our conductors and pull it back through to the top. Okay, so we've fished our fish tape through and now we're gonna attach it to our Kellum grip here. Here are our conductors for our three-phase turbine. So we'll just attach it to the Kellum grip and uh, reinforce it with just a couple wraps of tape to make sure it doesn't fall off during transport. And then we'll give Landon the, the go signal and he'll pull it through. All right, so here we are at the top of our tower and we're just gonna pull that conductor through. And you'll see what we have here, three eight gauge conductors and a SOOW um, wire and that's just running down to the bottom of our tower where we're gonna run it into a junction box and uh, convert it to a, a wire that's better suited for running an underground conduit to get back up to our shed with our balance of system components. So we ran our SOOW cable through our 80 foot tower, now up through this conduit and into this junction box where we will join the SOOW cable with our pre-pulled THWN 8 gauge conductor which basically connects our SOOW three phase from here the tower to our control center which is a 350 feet away in that direction. So in order to do that we'll use these splice blocks which will act as a um, splice kit between our SOOW three conductor wire the tower and our THWN wire from our control room. In addition to joining our three phase conductors we're going to include a um, lightning arrestor here, which acts as our overcurrent protection in case of a lightning strike. This will take the blast and not the turbine. 